dear students welcome to my channel this is third video on post tagging in this video i am going to cover basic idea of hma model for post disambiguation and its related derivation for this concept ngram model and bayes rule understanding should be clear i have already posted videos on mentioned topic let us start in second video i have already covered classification of tags in detail classification of tagger is nothing but what these are the different methods in which we can unambiguously assign the part of speech tag to the word now here we are concentrating on the hidden markov model which comes under the generative model of probabilistic model generative model the examples of generative model are hidden markov model and naive bayes classifier in generative model we assume that class is there and it generates the data for example i already mentioned the example that for example if subject is maths so the words derived from the maths class are related is nothing but integration derivation summation of all or all formulas so for example if we consider here what is mean by class so here different part of speech tags are our classes for example noun is our class then determiner is our class then adjective is our class adverb is our class so these are nothing but the different classes are there and the this classes generates a variety types of words that's why the flow is downwards that is class is generating the variety types of data now what we require to do for example if statement is the girl is intelligent at that time what we require to do we have to assign the part of speech tag to each word for that we are using the um, generative model in which flow is downwards because here we are taking the two probabilities that is emission probability and state transition probability these two values we are directly getting from emission probability matrix and state probability state transition probability matrix now how we generate this two matrix it is nothing but the uh, our training data is there that is nothing but corpus and from the corpus we are generating this two matrix that is state transition probability matrix and emission probability matrix now what is mean by emission probability matrix emission probability matrix is nothing but conditional probability that is chances of that girl world when the class is noun and straight transition is nothing but our biogram model for example biogram always check the appearance between the two this is nothing but the one word history biogram is nothing but the one word history so it will check how many times um, that after determining noun word is coming or before the noun uh, how many times that particular determiner is coming so this association is very strong because before the noun there are two chances either determiner will come or adjective will come so this fair is very much strong so we are checking with this with the biogram model straight transition probability based on the markov model here i am taking the derivation for ngram model but we restrict our uh, concept up to biogram model or the trigram model and uh, it is very difficult to go for the more higher uh, ngram models because that particular pair or particular appearance should be present in our corpus ngram model ngram is contiguous sequence of n items from given sample of text or speech the items can be phonemes syllable letter words or base pairs according to the application the ngram typically are collected from text or speech corpus so for ngram model basic formula is again of conditional probability that is probability of b given a is equal to probability of a and b a divided by probability of a this is very base formula here we can rearrange the equation that is probability of a and b is equal to probability of a into probability b given a now if we add the more variables and we can write down the joint probability distribution like probability of a into probability of b given a probability of c given a and b and probability of d given a a and b and c and we can just add this or extend the formula up to n variables so this is nothing but the chain rule now here we can write down the formula for our biogram so probability of w1 to w1 is equal to projection i p of wi given w1 w2 wi minus 1 that is all previous wi minus word will determine the probability of wi here when we use a, a unigram or one gram model at that time i is equal to 1 so only one word is coming that is probability of that particular words so it is not useful because it will just check the occurrence of that particular word and it will not check the particular pair combination but when we are using biogram it is one word history here the formula becomes probability of 
W2 given W1. So it will check the pair that of how many times W1 and W2 is coming simultaneously. And here we want to do the same thing that how many times the pair of determiner and noun is coming in our given corpus. So when that pair is coming um, more times means its probability is more. So it is chances that before noun the presence of determiner is there. So that's why we are going for the 2 gram. Even we can go for the 3 gram also. But for the 3 gram what we require to do? We require to check that 3 pairs. That is for this noun word we require to 2 previous word. And previous combination and this combination should be there. So what happens the problem? When we are going for the higher n gram. That particular combination uh, occurrences in our corpus become very much less. Or sometimes 0. So that should not be happen. And generally in language uh, even the one word history is also sufficient because most of the time association happens with the previous word and future word. Here also we can take the future word also. I can explain this in the example. Here we can take the uh, chances of that after the noun what is the possibility of the next part of speech tag comes. That also we can take into the consideration. So here we restrict our uh, discussion up to one uh, bigram model in which one word history is there. Now this is a formula for bigram model that is w1 probability of w1 w2 probability of w2 given w1 that is there should be occurrences of w1 to w2 divided by the occurrences of w1. Now this is the first order Markov assumption if and we are using for the bigram and if we want to go for the trigram we can go. So here we require to use the two word history for example if we want to determine VBZ at that time we will check previous two occurrences that determine a noun and VBZ pair is occurring how many times in our corpus. Emission probability matrix gives us this bigram value for example appearance of pair determiner and noun. So bigram is calculated. Uh, from this state transition probability matrix that how many times determiner and noun comes in our corpus. Emission probability based on the base rule of conditional probability. Now uh, as you already know this is the basic rule of conditional probability. Now here the probability of word given class is probability of word and class divided by probability of class. Now here we have given directly this probability and this probability we find from the state transition. So what we what we are going to find out the probability of girl given the noun and this value we are directly getting from the emi uh, emission probability matrix. So there is no need to do the calculation whatever this type of calculation we are doing when we are generating the state transition uh, sorry emission probability matrix when we are uh, uh, generating the emission probability matrix at that time we are doing this calculation so we are directly getting the value probability of girl given the noun so simply what we require to do you require to multiply emission probability and state transition probability values so what is the idea behind the hidden Markov model for the post disambiguation is only use the two rules one is your bigram rule and second is your base rule of conditional probability this value we are getting from the state transition and this value we are getting from the emission probability matrix. Now we will take a simple example. Uh, here we want to determine for example the statement is secretariat is expected to raise tomorrow. Now we want to determine this raise word is belong to the noun category or the verb category. As a human we can easily guess that this is belong to the verb category because it is preceded by the two words. But for machine uh, it's of two part of speech tag. One belongs to the VB and one belongs to the noun. So here how the post disambiguation takes place. Now here we are using these two probabilities. Now this example is not complete but in my next video I am going to take a very detailed example in which we are calculating the state transition probability matrix, emission probability matrix. After that we are going from for example a particular statement is given we are going from the first word to the last word. Now here the problem is to determine that particular race word is belong to the verb category or noun category. Now here this is nothing but the secretary is become to uh, secretariat is it is a proper noun is is vbz expected is vbn two is a two um, that is the for two word part of speech tag is two only race is vb or race can be noun and this is nothing but the tomorrow for tomorrow it is nr that is nothing but the adverbial verb uh, sorry adverbial noun because this is rarely used because we can't remember all the part of speech tag now see how to we do with the HMM model. Now this is 
before this VB, that two is coming. This is the VB part of speech tag that is verb, and this is two part of speech tag. And from this VB, which which words gets generated? That is the race word generated. So Q1 and Q2 are the states. That is nothing but they are the classes. So verb class and the two classes there. And this X2 word, which is emitted from the Q2 state. Now we want to determine race belong to which category. Now see diagram from the diagram, it is very much clear. This transition is nothing but state transition matrix, and this is nothing but emission probability. So we just require to multiply these two values. Now see this equation very carefully probability of q2 given x2 and q1 because what we want to determine what is the probability of verb that particular word belongs to the verb so probability of q2 given x2 and q1 because this x2 is given and q1 is given because we already determined q1 belongs to which category and we know the word race so what is the probability of q2 given x2 and q1 is equal to probability of x2 given q2 so this is nothing but base rule and we obtain this value directly from our um, emission probability matrix and what is the probability of q2 given q1 means how many times it possible that q1 keep after q1 q2 will appear that is q1 uh, probability of q2 given q1 means combination of q1 q2 comes into a corpus and this is nothing but your base rule so these values we are directly taking from the particular matrix and we are just putting that value so probability of vb given race that is probability of verb given race and 2 is equal to probability of race given vb into probability of vb given 2 so here we will check how many times in corpus after 2 the verb appears and the what is the probability of race as a verb in our given corpus so we are directly multiplying these two values now similarly uh, there are two chances it can be either verb or it can be either noun so we can write down the same equation but here instead of only the verb we are now checking for the nn so in our corpus we will check that how many times uh, after two that nn uh, tag appears and the probability of race given the nn so this we will check so we will find out the probabilities and we will check whose probability is more so here I am just uh, taking the value and uh, you can put any random value uh, here I am putting just random value and I am checking the result so for example 0 0.82 0 0.00012 into 0.0027 so we are getting the answer 9.72 as a verb and here as a nn you we are getting the value 3.21 so 3.21 is value is less so that particular verb is gets attached to the, um, the that particular uh, race word is attached to the verb clause now I will explain this diagram again in detail because I have added the q3 state now what I want to say that when you want to determine the part of speech tag for the race word at that time you can take the help of previous state as well as you can take the help of next state also so that is nothing but your problem uh, how you are going to implement so in this equation only this much part is gets added and that also we can calculate from our straight transition matrix now probability of q2 given x2 q1 and q3 so this is nothing but our previous equation and we can adjust this equation that is probability of q3 given q2 that is how many chances of q2 and q3 pairs comes into the uh, corpus that is a pair of vb and nr so just this is just get equation added and here just i am uh, taking the value with this three means uh, what i want to say that key if you implement considering the previous state and next state you just require to multiply all that probabilities value and you will get particular value but if you want to restrict only up to this and this we can implement so here we are getting the two probabilities values and we will multiply but uh, here the in uh, Jurovsky book they have given that uh, we can determine this uh, part of speech tag for the x2 word based on the previous state as well as the future state so we are considering q1 and q3 so only you require to change the straight transition that is we require to add one more straight transition value that's it and the similar example is given that here again this is a, how many times nn and nr pairs comes into the picture or in the corpus so this is nothing but the multiplication and when we multiply we are getting the probability values so the probability value is more we can assign the uh, part of speech tag to that particular word so in this way we can do the disambiguation by HMM model. 
so in the next lecture my planning is to solve the problem of hmm model from the scratch for example training corpus is given a particular test uh, sample is given uh, and how to design the straight transition probability matrix and emission probability matrix and how we are using the concept of bigram and the concept of conditional probability to determine the part of speech tag for each word thank you